The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon from TFNN. Welcome to the June 27th, the terrific Thursday edition of today's Trader's Ed Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And of course, the easiest way to do that, it's to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right, when you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is gonna toss at us. Today, you and I, we're gonna go check on the circumstance of these markets. We're gonna go figure out what the bulls and the bears, what the buyers and the sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here, but more importantly than that, during this next hour, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone that's right, you can dial on in right now, 877-927-6648. Phone lines are clear. If you can't call in, hey, our email lines are clear. That's right, let those fingers do the walking. Send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, just put radio show question, of course, in our Tigers. Then, well, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Thursday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. Right now, they're out 42 points. That's trading out at 26.57. And all the indices in the green. Lead the charge. It is the uh, transports up 153 points, trading out at 10, 330. Spot follow Tonex down a quarter, 1.5% at 1596. Uh, gold's off five bucks, silver nine pennies. Light sweet crude is flat, trading out at 5941. Lead the charge to the upside. It is uh, booking holdings up 28 bucks. Amazon up 11, Shopify nine to the downside. Side, Boeing is off 2% or nearly 8 bucks. Uh, you've got Fact Set Research down 660. Chipotle off a half a percent or 4 bucks. So there's things to look at, of course. I want to look at what you want to look at. And uh, let's begin by taking a look at, let me, let me, I believe our role, yours and mine, um, for, for those of you that like surfing, you'll get this. For those of you that like watching others surf, you'll get this. For those of you that have never surfed, but say, eh, that looks kind of interesting, especially in the Bonsai Pipeline. Well, I believe our role, you and I, navigating the Bonsai Pipeline of the, the Bonsai Pipeline of the stock market is trying to figure out when those next waves are coming in. So the question is, how do we do that? Well, let's go take a look at one of the tools, one of the ways that Stevie does it. And this is really understanding where there is support, where there is resistance, and what is the message of the market. What do you think? How's that sound? Should we do that? Uh, okay, I'm getting a, yeah, let's go do that. Well, let's say, and, and, and in order to do this, we've got to use the equity futures contract. So I'm just really right now referring to the futures contract. Of course, we could do this for gold and silver and copper and so on and so forth. You're always trying to understand, and each wave set, or each cycle, in essence, you can get those different sets of waves. They may be coming in faster, maybe they're a longer period of time before they come. But the idea is, and your role and my role, we just have one role here. It's to find support and resistance. It's to be able to understand, to put the probability on our side, when price breaks through support, change in trend. When price breaks, and that's assuming that uh, you were long. When price breaks through resistance, change in trend, that's assuming you were short or a continuation, depending on which side of the market you're on. We'll get to it already, Steve-O. Look, I'm just using the same tool that you and I use for all of the different instruments that we take a look at. It's just a matter of trying to identify the time frame where the wave cycle works best. 
And here for the ES Mini, it is the two-hour time frame chart. The two-hour time frame chart, you're not going to see any numbers. I'm just putting up the solid lines out here. The solid lines, as you know, the red ones represent the uh, TD setup. Well, they both are TD setup trend lines out here. The green ones are resistance. The red ones are support. You may like it the other way around. Fine. Change it on your system. My system, this is the way that it is. Now, when we take a look at, and this is set up by the TD Setup Nikon. If you don't know what that is, you should know what that is. You should sign up for Mastering Probability. You should at least you sign up and cancel it the next day if you want. But at least go take the uh, workshop on understanding this uh, set of tools and patterns. So what we know, what you and I know right now. Well, first, you've got the ES Mini trading out at 29.30. As it was pulling back here, and let's get the exact time frame. We got a two-hour time frame chart. So as it was pulling back into 1,700 hours, so that was last night, as well as the open when the contract opened back up price was testing that level of support 2915.25 if we'd seen a close below it and follow through right follow through on the very next session follow through is very important out here then we would have had a change in trend but no we don't have that what we have for the two-hour time frame is we have price pulling back to support no change in trend yet Maybe no change in trend at all. Maybe none. The last signal to break through resistance, well, that took place right here. That was the green line. That was the green line at 8 o'clock in the morning, 10 eh, about 8 o'clock in the morning on the trading day of June the 18th out there. Price went to higher highs. Price has pulled back and has tested support. This is what Stevie sees, and I have checked multiple time frames out here to try to identify which one would give you and I the best change in trend signal should it occur. So right now, the level you want to write down on your pad of paper, it's really simple. It's 29.15 and one tick, 0.25 out there. Now, interestingly enough, this wave pattern, this time cycle, that's what I'll refer to as a, maybe we just call it a time cycle, but, but what, it's, you've got to visualize. Life is about visualization. That's what we do with regard to the charts. That's why markets can be timed, because you and I can visualize what the market is communicating to you and I. These are not just numbers we pull out of our arse or anywhere else out there. They're, they're valid tools that help us understand what the market is doing. We don't need to complicate it. We're not going to complicate it. Support must be broken. Support must be broken in the wave cycle, the time cycle that you can find out there in order for there to be any kind of change in trend. Now, yes, for those of you out there saying, but Steve, oh, you're not selling the top tick or buying the bottom tick, you're right. We're just getting a big, juicy A5 Wagyu beef. And that's worth a lot of uh, uh, cashola, cashola out there. Now, if we take a look at the Dow Equity Futures contract, we take a look at it. Guess what? The 120-minute time frame chart, well, first of all, we have not seen a close below one of those red solid support lines, have we? And last night and this morning, all morning long, what we've seen is the Dow Equity Futures contract test, 26,514. That's the number. I don't give a rat's patootie that intraday price close below that. The body of the candle, the close, it's all about the close. It's always about the close. Hey, we do have resistance here. The next breakout level in the Dow Equity Futures contract as well. Come on, Brack. From this break, I'll give it to you. Hope you're right. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. 
Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS Order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Don't miss the last chance to sign up for the TAS Profile Scanner at just $97 a month. Starting July 1st, we're raising the price to $197 a month. This is your last chance to lock in the $97 rate for as long as you remain a subscriber. And as always, new subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk. Don't miss this last chance to sign up at the low rate of just $97 a month. Sign up for the TAS Profile Scanner today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. So, look, we've identified key levels of support inside the ES Mini and the uh, and the uh, Dow Equity Futures contract. You're visually looking at it. If you're watching us on Tiger TV, you're inside the den. You can see the key levels of support and resistance. What's nice about the um, about the Dow Equity Futures contract is that it also it had a TD setup nine count to the downside. Now, I'm not showing you the number count uh, because here I'm not focused on the numbers, but more so support and resistance. If you can just if you can just identify a, a tool that helps you to do that. This one is an easy one. It's objective. The only thing that you do after you've had a uh, trend that's in place, such as the bottom off of a uh, June the uh, 3rd, I believe it was, yeah, June the 3rd and 4th, when the real bottom uh, came in in the uh, market, is as that is going along, you just sit here with this chart and you just keep punching in the uh, minutes, uh, different time frame charts. Uh, it doesn't matter to me whether it's 90 or 93 or 120 or 124 or, or what, what, whatever it is. I just want to find that, um, uh, that period, that cycle, wave, period, where we've seen levels of support being tested or rejected or resistance as well. Or when resistance gets popped through, it's just the signal that price is moving higher. So inside the Dow Equity Futures contract, we know support. It's 26.514. If we see a close below 26.514, that's going to tell us we have a change in trend in place. doesn't tell us how long it's going to last, where price is going to go, but it certainly does signal to us, or at least to me, that there would be a change in trend. Do we have a change in trend at 1.20 in the afternoon? We do not. Now, that trend is still to the upside then, no levels of support. But here we have a new level of resistance in the Dow Equity Futures contract, 26,787. Now, tomorrow I'll tape the show from, I believe, 8 to 9 is what we'll target. I'll tape the show tomorrow morning, be replayed at this time. Uh, there may be new numbers. If there are new numbers, I'll provide those for you uh, in the morning so that you know what to look at during the day. Um, right now, those are the numbers that we're going to, that we, that only numbers we can and go with. So if price is trading about 26,787, it's telling you it wants higher price. Does it want to take out the previous high? That I don't know. We'd have to take a look at other tools to help us, but it would tell us that the continuation. 
of the trend of the upside is still out there. Now, inside the uh, NQ, we've got that same set of uh, circumstance, so to speak. We can use the two-hour time frame. And here, you've got really two levels of support. The first level, which is easily identifiable, it's that red horizontal line. It's priced at 76.30. Someone might say, well, but look at that bar right there. When I say that bar right there, I'm referring to the bar at 1,600 hours yesterday. There was a close below that level. Next session, nope, no follow through. Session after that, no no, uh, the close is just slightly below. What happens next? No follow through. Follow through. Follow through is so important out there. Jay knows this with regard to his golf swing. I'll bet you if you ask him when he does follow through on the drive, he's looking at 295 in the air, carrying the bunker on the right with a little draw on it and then more spin. And with no follow through, the 295 probably goes to 195 at best. Uh, follow through is important. Now, in the case of the NQ, we can also see the previous resistance line at 76.13.25. In this case here, with prior resistance being so close to support, we've got to use that because sometimes prior resistance can be support out there. And so you want to be paying attention to that. So we can see here inside the NQ, nothing having been broken. If it ain't broken, it remains in place. Yeah. So that's what we take a look at. And it's really these three indices as we speak right now. I do not have a time frame, a reliable time frame. Uh, we, here's the two-hour chart, for example, in the Russell 2000. You can see when it broke through support yesterday and then broke through the resistance line, the old resistance that could have been new support and wasn't, and continued to move lower out here. Uh, so in the case of the Russell 2000, signaling to you and I that uh, it has already changed its uh, trend. Now, the confirmation of that, just so you know, uh, is really going to be as price um well the real confirmation would would be that 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 is not the case would be a close above 1557.90 1557.90 would be the number that we would be taking a look at now ruby and the tigers then had asked about uh, Dr. Copper out there. And we're going to go give her Dr. Copper. We'll do the normal stuff. This is the normal stuff, folks, where we take a look at the multiple time frames, 30 minute, but let's go change that to a 60 minute time frame. Uh, so you've got the 60, the 120, you've got the five hour, 300, and then you've got the daily out here. And for Ruby, if we would just simply take a look at the uh, daily contract, this is July for Dr. Copper. Here's what we know, Ruby. There's a brand new profile that formed, formed right now, right here today. Not really 123 in the afternoon, but it most certainly formed. And if we take a look at it, the top of that daily box is 2.7299. The bottom, 2.6759. Those are your resistance and support levels out here. Um, and if price can break through resistance, 2.7299, then what you're looking at is move up to the top of the weekly profile, 2.7939 out there. So everything looks um, relatively bullish, so to speak. What I, I mean by that is the current profile is above the prior profile, so that's a bullish step. You just don't want to see a close below 2.6759, would say there's some problem in River City. Now, if we take a look at where River City is, and we just use that same two-hour time frame chart for the high-grade copper contract out here, you're going to see 2.698. That was the last breakout level. The red lines represent support. But what they really are, what they really represent to you, to me, to every trader out there, is where the breakout began. The, one, of the, one of the first things that I was taught by Tom was not to chase an instrument and wait for it to come back to a breakout level, especially as it was moving off the bottom. If you didn't catch the move off the bottom, wait, because price will pull back to the breakout area. In other words, that's the ideal level. Now, in that um, uh, set of uh, tools that Tom had taught me, that's different than what I have. I don't just have one set of tools. I love this game. To me, this is a game. This is, this is, and I love athletics, and I love competition, and that is what this game is. This is just a game. We treat this like a game. 
It's really like a game. And and in Stevie's game theory, that's what got me to be the number one market timer uh, in 2018 out there. Uh, right now, I'm a number two. It depends on how you look at it, but I'm number two, just slightly below the guy at number one. But at number one for the last six months and three months, I'm number three in gold. I'm number one in bonds. I'm just using these exact same tools. There is no rocket science here other than maybe some of the tools use some rocket science type stuff and understanding support or resistance out here. And if you use these tools, you will also make this game much easier out there. When it doesn't become easy is when all of a sudden something breaks support or resistance, you're on the opposite side of the trade, and you ask yourself the question, what should I do when you know what to do, but you decide not to do it? You know what I mean when I say that? I think you do. So, Ruby, with regard to high-grade copper, I hope that this helps you out. We know that support is held on a two-hour time frame, and that's different than the support level that you're looking here. But it makes all the sense in the world now when we take a look at today's trading inside of high-grade copper to say, why did it stop where it stopped? Because that was the two-hour breakout level. Price came back there just like it did on the ES, just as it did on the uh, Dow Equity Futures contract, just as it, well, it didn't make it all the way down on the NQ. But you kind of get the gist. Hey, when we get back from this break, let's go see who sent in email requests. Let's go take a look at what they would like to look at. We'll be right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, uh, folks. Hey, let's go to one of our callers, Brent in Martinez, California. Brent, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Doing well, Steve. How are you doing? I am doing excellent. Uh, and uh, we're going to take a look at some energy out here, Gulfport Energy. Why don't you tell the folks what you're looking at and how I can best help you? I have not taken a position in this yet. I've been watching it for uh, probably a week or two. And I just wanted your opinion on, I mean, it looks like that 466 level has been tested like at least three times. And then also uh, it looked like if it could get above this five level, is that, and that's what I want to ask you about. Is there a, a resistance level you're seeing that would, would give me some indicator to at least be, you know, have some confidence that we can get through that. It might go further. So, uh, first thing that I would that I would that I'm watching. Are you taking a look at this uh, from a longer term or just a trade? Or give me, you know, you've been watching this for a while. So, uh, what, what's your thought process? If you did find a bottom in this, what is there any kind of expect? You know, what 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 is it you're anticipating then? The outcome. I would probably do some longer term. Uh, options on it, like out to December of this year, maybe even January of 2020. Okay. And then right. um, I'm kind of, I told you before, I'm looking around at the natural gas area. That's primarily what this is involved in, and they might even do some regular, you know, crude oil too. But I'm trying to find stuff in that area that um, could potentially, you know, benefit from that, you know, if we sure. happen to get a movement in that. So, okay. And it's just the stock itself is, it's, it has more to do just with the stock in general, but, but yeah. You know, uh, potentially being a bottom in the thing. No, and that's great. And, and and the reason I ask is because that's very helpful then for me with regard to how it is that, that you and I should take a look at this. And for example, here, if we just take a look at this chart here for Gulfport, folks, what you're going to see here, let me just open up the monthly chart. You're, you're going to take a look at this and you're going to say, geez, it reminds you of the 2007 to 2009 time frame in the uh, stock market uh, where this thing, in fact, it's trading all the way back just to give you a feel, it's trading all the way back to the 2009 uh, time frame out here. The actual low on this or a low a recent low we'll say over the last 10 years was the march 20 march 2009 low at a buck 50 you're trading at five bucks as we speak right now um and so the question is on a long and price by the way trading below its monthly profile its weekly profile its quarterly profile there's a new daily profile that brent and i are going to take a look at but we can't just leave the monthly or i don't want to just leave the monthly chart and just leave it like that because there is a possibility that Brent will go ahead and take a longer term trade, as he said, some options going out uh, six months or so. And so if we take a look at the monthly time frame chart, what we're going to see is that price has stretched itself, meaning price is moving lower to with less relative energy. Now, unfortunately, this is the end of June. Brent would really have to wait until July to get a confirmation, the confirmation in this instance being some type of bullish reversal signal, which is why he and I are going to go look at the daily time frame chart. We're going to try to take a, let me see if we can get a jump on maybe an early indication that this is beginning to turn, at least give us a probability. Now, he's already done that by looking at the lows being tested. When we pull up the daily chart, you'll see the same thing. So, Brent, we also, this month happens to be the month following bar number nine of the TD setup. So the cool thing about this is this would say to me that that specific pattern, there's really two bottoming patterns that are potential bottoming patterns that are out here. If there was a close below the low of this month, well, then that TD setup nine count is not the pattern identifying the bottom. Price still moving lower, doing less relative energy. Um, but look, we've got two potential patterns here. And a reason, I think, for you and I to say, well, let's go see what the daily time frame chart shows. So as we look at the daily time frame chart, what we can see is that it, too, was pushing lower with less relative energy. But on June 18th, it generated the bullish reversal candle that you wanted to see to suggest that this was a bottom candidate out there. Now, the cool thing about this, price is trading above Stevie's red line at 459, tells us the price oscillator has at least turned up. It's still well below zero, but that it has at least turned up. So that's a slight positive. And you received a gift today. And that gift today is a brand new TAS market profile. 
So here I'm going to expand this chart out, but what we're going to also do just for the moment is we're going to turn off price because this is really important. It's a little nuance, but it's an important nuance. And folks, as we take a look at the current profile, those are the current three colored bars at the bottom right of my screen. You'll see red, which is the top of the box, also known as resistance. You'll see the green, which is the bottom of the box, also known as support. And then you see the blue color, the cyan color. And that is referred to as the center of the box, although you'll notice it's not in the center. That's okay. That's actually very cool. In this case here, it's closer to the top than to the bottom. Now, when the top and the bottom easily represent support or resistance or sellers and buyers, the center line represents with inside this price area where it is that both buyers and sellers believe there's fair value. Well, we can see the sellers have really lined up because the top of that box and the center it's not in the center, is closer together to each other. So this is what Stevie would refer to as a bearish profile structure box. That would say if price closes over 501, that's a double whammy, double bullish whammy, because price shouldn't have been able to close above that. Now, one close doesn't help. You want to see some follow through. But Brent, that's what I would be. It's so cool that you're calling about this today, that there's a brand new profile that you can take a look at. The price is very close to trying to take that out. But maybe this is just the counter trend rally out here. It doesn't guarantee just because we see this, that this is going to be the bottom out here but what it does is it adds another piece of information that says hey on the longer term the monthly is saying there's the potential we can see the bottom signals we just don't have the confirmation and on the daily maybe we get some type of early change in trend signal so I'm going to say a close above 501 today tomorrow whenever as long as this profile is out here is your indication uh, to that a bottom uh, may be forming out here and you'd like to see a second yep. day over that 501 level yeah, that's fantastic. That's about what I was thinking in the, this area that's at right now. So we'll see what I can do today or maybe tomorrow. And, and uh, I just like to get in as early as possible. You know that. Sure, I, I do. I, I do. You know, and especially you're trading with options <laughs> so you can manage the risk there. Um, the one thing you'd, you'd certainly like to eventually see, so say you get in, you get these closes above the top of those profiles, and you'd certainly like to see on a weekly basis we don't have a bottom signal. So that's the only bummer out here. Uh, no, no bottom signal at all. But uh, if we saw a close above 535, it would be saying, hey, what you're seeing on the daily and the monthly um, made all the sense in the world to go ahead and, and take that trade. So so your price is right up against the level that it should be able to bust through. If it doesn't bust through, you know, you've got something to continue to watch then, in my opinion. There you go. All well, thank you very much, Steve. As always, appreciate it. You have a great day, and I'm sure I'll talk to you soon. If I don't talk to you before, I probably won't talk to you tomorrow. Just have a great weekend. Thank you. Will do. That was Brent in Martinez, California. That was Gulfport Energy out there. Now, we had a request that came in to take a look at Freeport McMoran. Freeport McMoran, uh, I think that was Sean that was asking about that. Uh, if it's not Sean, my apology. But um, uh, it's, 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 it's off my screen right now. So the question was, I don't remember what the question was. I think the question was, is now a time to get into Freeport Macmore? Let me see if I can get that back here. I should at least answer the question, right? Let me see if I do this. Just have to go searching for when did Sean send that in? That's the only problem. Here we go. So, uh, yeah, the question is, my system says it was, oh, was safe to tiptoe in at 3.30. Ah, we're going to a break. We come back for this break. I'll figure out Sean's question. I'll share it with you, and we'll go answer it. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. If you are in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. 
If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. So, uh, Sean, it looks like is a uh, long FCX, and so we'll give him our thoughts. He got the uh, signal to go long on the 19th of this month. So let's just take a look at um, uh, charts out here. Let's go take a look at the uh, daily time frame chart. We can see the move from, from high to low out here. Let's just simply use, let's see if we can identify anything that would have assisted um, would have assisted Sean with an earlier entry. For example, the first close that we saw above Stevie's red line was on June 3rd versus June 19th, which is out here. June 19th, prices trade at about 11.10. June 3rd, you close above Stevie's red line around 9.92. So fairly decent size uh, percentage uh, difference there. So that would be something that may be worthwhile for you to take a look at, uh, Sean. Another thing, if we take a look at FCX, we just, I don't know what the wave count is, but let's go take a look at it. Start from the high out here on April 17th. You make your way lower. And lo and behold, if you don't get wave number seven, that's on May 31. That's right at the bottom the very next day price closes above stevie's uh, red line so that would be a nice signal now with regard to um the signal on the uh, 19th out here um you, there uh, really the day before on the 18th you had a close above that tdst resistance line change in trend signal like we just looked at with regard to the 120 minute time frame chart out here once price closed above that told us about a change in trend same thing we're saying with regard to the 120-minute time frames for the ESNQ and the Dow out here. So uh, the second signal out here came in a day before yours or maybe on your day, right, because you got to have follow-through. So I'm with you. Now, I wouldn't suggest to anybody that they would enter FCX today or tomorrow. The reason is that today looks like it's going to be count number nine of that TD setup nine count out there. We would never enter a new trade on bars number nine. Well, you might do the reversal of that trade. That That's a different story out there. But we wouldn't be going long on this, especially when we know that the next resistance line uh, was set up by that May 3rd high out there. And that price point, this is going to be resistance of uh, 1201. Sean, if uh, FCX closes over 1201, it's a beautiful thing. You've got uh, beautiful signals taking all the way back out to that high of April 17th that began that seventh wave count to the downside. So that's what I see. Uh, stay. Uh, now, you've also got a brand new uh, profile that formed last week 
or at the beginning of this week, I should say. Uh, and prices above that level today of 11.55. So that's a nice positive. You don't want to see a close below 11.18. That would be a level of support that would fall and would say, okay, <clears throat> you're ready to start running to the downside. Now, if it does that, <clears throat> you probably don't have much profit in that, but that's okay. This is about protecting your capital out here. So I'd let I'd let FCX run. You're in uh, my airplane that I'm flying, and it's a beauty. It's a golf stream. Yeah, that's right. And I'm still telling you to buckle up because you're in day number nine. And we know there can be a change in trend signal on day number nine or day number the day following day number nine. So hope that that helps you out. Thanks for writing in. And uh, let's go to the next question out here. Next question. Well, let's see what that next question is. Got to close this back up again. And this says the next question coming in from uh, Stan. Stan wants to take a look at AT&T. Ticker symbol out here is T. Let's continue. And where would you buy AT&T or would you buy it at all? Excellent question out here. So we've got AT&T. Uh, looks like up towards some recent highs out here. When I say recent highs, I'm referring to that bearish uh, session on June uh, 12th out there. Uh, price is pushing into that with light volume. You're 12 million today. That had 30 million up at that high. And then the prior high on May 20th had 53 million shares. So you're not moving into it with gusto. Uh, granted, price is above resistance. The daily, the weekly, uh, trading right into the monthly profile. The top of the monthly profile, this is the end of the month. Well, Tomorrow's the end of the month, 3280. So this could be a, this is, you're at resistance right here. So no, I wouldn't be buying it here. Um, because you're too close to some resistance levels. You need to see how those work themselves out. Is the monthly telling you that the weekly and the daily are done? I, I don't know the answer to that question just yet. If I take a look at the daily time frame, what do we see out here? We just see where the sellers have stepped in. Specifically, June 10th is the clearer signal out here. Um, let's see, if, uh, let me go to a different time frame chart. Let's go up one level. Let's go to the weekly, see what the weekly is communicating to you. And is there anything else out here? Not really. Um, so you're asking where to buy it. You're asking where to buy AT&T. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. You know, I, I suppose what we need to watch for here, Stan, is a let's see if price pulls back. See, I'm going to say 3242, and that's the top of the uh, daily profile. But the problem with that is then 3242 gets us back below the weekly profile, which is 3252. Um, so, uh, you know, ideally, let's say this is resistance, we get a deeper pullback. That's a little bit easier to answer that question because then what we'd say is the 3160 level would be the place that we would be watching. Now, we do know where real support is at this because it's already been tested once, Stan, and that was that little red solid line out here at that TD setup nine count, and that price point out here is 3062. I don't have any signals to say we're going to get back down there, but that would be the ultimate, 3062. So 3160, not, too, not really just a buck away from that, so we'll stick with 3160 at the moment. I hope that that helps you out. But the reason not to jump in today, you're too close to resistance when we take a look at that monthly set of profiles out there. Next question coming in from uh, George in Tampa. George wants to look at sticker symbol SBGL. SBGL. So let's get that punched in here. See what pops up on the uh, daily. Pops up on the daily, weekly. So daily is above the top. Weekly is above the top. And monthly is above the uh, top. So everything looks... Uh, Really good here. S B G L. No idea why it doesn't come up on my other system. That is a, a real bummer because I'd really like that. And I think we had this problem last time that you uh, wrote in, and uh, and I don't know what uh, what the issue is. So we've just got to go with just some basic standard stuff out here. Well, we're close to the end of the week. Your question is, what's my opinion for a long trade? You put in a bid at 418. You feel it will fill the gap. Wow. Okay. So <clears throat> right now this is dealing with what appears to be the week of April 8th. The high out there is 494. You're at 482. That had volume of 32 million. You're at volume of 17 million on Thursday. Doesn't look like it's going to go ahead and take that out. So maybe it's going to pull back. Now you're saying 418 is the number. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Meant to do this. 
418. Well, if you're going to go, so you're looking at the gap. So you're looking at the top of the gap out. No, you're looking, yeah. So the top of the gap is 417. That's the high from June 20. So, uh, no, I'm sorry. The high of the gap. Yeah, 417. Well, I don't have, here's the deal. I don't have a signal to say whether price is going to pull back. I don't have a real topping signal out here. I just simply see uh, that price is moving higher, doing with less um, volume out there. And so maybe there's a pullback. And the top of that box is 413 on a daily time frame. I wish I had my other system tell you other numbers, but I don't. And my apology there. So when we get back from this break, we're going to go out to uh, John in uh, Philly to finish up the show. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South Africa, African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let Gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated Concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is David White. Stay tuned because coming up next is the Power Trading Hour right here on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Let's go out to Philly and uh, speak with John. John, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Hey, Steve, uh, thank you. Steve, you've got uh, just two minutes left. So I want to put in a special request, please, that dovetails with uh, Brent Martinez's call. Yeah. Uh, as you know, uh, I think you and I both and a great many uh, listeners uh, always listen to what Brent is, uh, is up to. Because Absolutely. He has, a, uh, he has a discipline looking for that uh, 
Hey, John, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. You're, there, there's a there's a problem with the uh, there is a, a problem with your with the phone lines and, and you're really breaking up. So but but let me do this uh, for you with the with the last minute. So my apology for that. But you wanted to take a look at it because Brent has alerted us to uh, some some areas in energy, natural gas. So first first trust natural gas, folks, is the ETF that John is taking a look at. The beauty here uh, and this goes along really with the Brent's thesis, maybe more of a longer term play here. So here I do have a weekly signal. That weekly signal is last week was that TD set up nine count. Price was moving lower, doing less relative energy. You get a bullish reversal signal. This week you're having follow through. We're trading at 1428. Boy, Stevie would really love to see a close above Stevie's red line. That number is 1437. I'm not saying we're going to get it today or tomorrow. Maybe it's Monday. Maybe it is today. Maybe it is tomorrow. But a close above 1437 would be a nice signal that price you would anticipate is going to make its move to the $18 level. And that's what I see when I take a look at the weekly chart for FCG. By the way, the ticker symbol FCG on a daily time frame gave you the bottoming signal on June the 19th out there. But now that you're up towards the weekly level, you got to let it close above 1437 or buy it on some type of light volume pullback. Folks, thanks so much for being here. Don't forget, tomorrow morning, 8 a.m., live, we'll take a look at the equity futures contract. We'll make the show relevant for the one to two time frame. Have a terrific uh, weekend, a terrific Friday, of course, a terrific Thursday. And don't forget, everything in life happens for us, not to us. Take care, folks.